what better way to start the rebranding of this YouTube channel than coming in with a bang. That's right guys, I have the brand new Weldy Collection by P. Louise. How sick. So I didn't get this in PR. I am getting it in PR, because um, obviously I am an affiliate. Um, if you see anything throughout this video that you do want, um, you can use my discount code Adam Ashman 10 and that will save you 10%. It's like literally one of my highlights of, well, it is the highlight of like my career so far. Just being on PLB's PR, being an affiliate, it's just, I, I, I just, I love it. Like it just takes my breath away every time. And whenever I see someone use my discount code, I get so excited and it's just absolutely amazing. But yeah, I thought, what better way than to, you know, get this baby out. So yeah, as I said, this I bought this with my own money. Um, I am waiting on the PR. Um, every time I say that, I'm just like, oh my God. Um, but yeah, I'm going to see maybe if I can do a giveaway with it, seeing as that I did buy this one. Um, obviously, I am going to use this one, but when I get more one in PI, I'm going to see if I can maybe do a giveaway with it. I'm going to clear that up with the PLVs, um girls and stuff. Um, but yeah, stay tuned for that. And let's get into the Weldy Collection. So as you can see, it's absolutely massive. This is a suitcase, guys. It's an actual suitcase that you can reuse. I'm gonna show you obviously the inside, but I just wanna appreciate the outside. Now this is 130 quid. You're getting good quality for your money. Like this, I feel like this should be like 300 quid for everything in here. That's just my personal opinion. So how she's done it at 130 quid, I do not know. Um, but I just want to give a shout out to Danielle as well, because Danielle is a, such an, an amazing designer. Paige and Danielle together are just absolutely incredible. They smash it every single time. And yeah, so this is what it looks like. So I'm not gonna read everything out. When I've done P. Louise um, videos in the past, I don't like to read everything out because I kind of like to leave that to be personal to other people. But yeah, you know, I'll, I'll read a little bit out. So you've got obviously Absolute Weldy on here. Um, just like little quotes that are really cute. You've got like, the sky is the limit. Um, your adventure awaits and just like, the detail is absolutely stunning. So if I just undo the two latches and then is the inside of the Weldy collection. So when you open this guys, you have this little beautifulness. And um, it comes with this card. Now this card has a lot of detail on the back. So when you get it, make sure you read everything. Um, I'm gonna keep this, it's gonna go up on my shelving somewhere. So the no smoking one says, when the no smoking sign is on, put your blenders away, babe. You're producing serious heat that's too hot to handle. So just like little things like that, it's just absolutely stunning. And um, like I said, I'm not gonna go too much into detail because I like people to read it. And then, how cute, guys, you're not ready. Like, how cute is that? So you basically get a tiny base. Um, this is basically, if people have never tried the base before, this is just a really cute way of getting people to try the base and show them what they're missing out on because this is, so, if you've never tried this, it's absolutely, it'll change the game. So then when you take this little plastic out, here is, oh, uh, here is, the Weldy collection. This is so hard, guys. <laughs> but how beautiful and stunning is this? So guys, just quickly showing you before I show you the products, but you can take this whole entire, like, thing, polystyrene thing, don't know what it is, but you can take all of that out and you have a reusable suitcase. I am 100% using this. It's so amazing. Like, if you're going, like, on a trip away or whatever, but look at that. You've got quite a bit of room in there. Um, you can even use it as like a PLOE storage if you want. And um, that's what I might do actually. I might 
use it as a P. Louise storage thing. Just have all my palettes in here, have all my bases. I feel like that could be quite a cute idea, to be honest. Um, but yeah, you've got a fully reusable suitcase and I'm just, I'm just obsessed. So yeah, guys, that is the suitcase. I feel like this is probably my favourite P. Louise collection so far, just because the attention to detail is second to none. And just the fact that you get a massive suitcase, it's just absolutely, it's crazy. I also want to point out as well that I love that brands such as P. Louise are giving people the opportunity to experience PR. Because um, obviously this is supposed to be the PR package that obviously people get if you're like an affiliate or if you are on PR. And, you know, doing Instagram back like when, well, I'm, I'm still like a micro influencer, if you will, like a micro micro influencer. But like even just looking at, you know, say Jacqueline Hill getting PR packages. I'm just like, oh my God, I want that. I just wanted the box. I wanted the aesthetic. And, you know, when we'll come to buy it, buy these things, we've never really got to experience the full thing. So the way that she's giving people a chance to actually experience the whole PR thing. And, you know, it's, it's a collector's item. I feel like people buy into P. Louise to experience the packaging. And, like, if you're like me, like, you keep every single bit of packaging almost. Um, I've got packaging elsewhere that I haven't even hung up yet. But, yeah, I just love the packaging. A lot of people do say that the packaging's bulky, but I'm just absolutely in love with it. It's just... I'm just obsessed with this collection, guys. Okay, so first up, we'll talk about the brushes. Now, you get three brushes in this pouch. One thing I will say is be careful when you lift it out because I kind of broke mine last night. I mean, it super glued itself back together now, but this back part came off. Um, but as you can see, it's kind of like a passport and you've got loads of like gold foil detailing on the back and then when you open it this is what it looks like so the way that these are designed is it's basically showing you a little bit of a sneak peek on the diaries that they are coming out with in october so each of the brush sets are just like a little bit of a sneak peek of what you can expect so obviously, like I said, I'm not going to read everything out because there is a lot of detail on here and I feel like this is either going to be a two-part thing or it's going to be 40 minutes long. Um, but yeah, just like the detail is so stunning. Um, honestly, if you do get this collection or if you get little bits of the collection, just take your time to sit, to read, to take everything in because it's just absolutely amazing. Um, you've got like a little mirror so you can like look at yourself <laughs> and all that good stuff. It's just, I just can't even curb. I cannot even curb with all of this. It's just, the attention to detail is just absolutely second to none. Unbelievable. So these are the three brushes, guys. Now, when I got these, I was so excited because P. Louise brushes are amazing. So these are the P. Louise brushes that I have. Um, my favourites are these ones. Um, they don't come pink. Mine are just really, really stained. Um, but these are really amazing. And, of course, the legendary cutter crease. Cutter crease? That's what I call it. So when I saw that there was new brushes, um, I got really excited just because I love the brush sets. But the one thing that I was confused about is that they're so small. Like, if I compare it to a normal P. Louise brush, like, they are really, really small. I wondered why they were so small, and apparently she mentioned on one of her Instagram stories that they're supposed to be travel sized. So when I learned that out, I thought, uh, Okay, it kind of makes sense now. Um, so yeah, they are a little bit smaller than normal brushes because obviously they wanted it to be travel size. Like little details like that is just so iconic. So this is like a, it's like a fluffy brush. So if I show you it in comparison, so this is the Two Lost In My Blend brush. And this is, I don't think this has a name. This is the 115 brush. You can tell that it's just a little bit more fanned out 
So this is really going to be amazing to, you know, buff those shadows in. Really excited to try that one. Then next we have this one. This is the 198 brush. This is going to be amazing to get right in like your crease. It's going to be amazing for like under your lash line, in a corner highlight really beautiful small detail brush and then we have this guy which I'm, I'm i love this one so if i show you again in comparison this is the difference so this one is the 143 brush and as you can see it's super tiny this is again amazing for underneath the lash line um really excited for these brushes guys the quality of p louise brushes are really amazing so the brush set is 24 pounds guys um but obviously you can use my discount code if you want to and you'll save 10 percent. i don't think the discount code works on the full suitcase collection for some reason um that might change it might not i'm not too sure um, but yes, £24 for these brush sets. We are going to be using these in an eye look today, so stay tuned. So next up, guys, we have the lipsticks. So this is the packaging of both the lipstick boxes. As you can see, they're kind of like in representation of a boarding pass. And that's obviously the back. So obviously, again, I'm not going to read everything. I like to leave it for people to be personalised. Sometimes when you read reading through these, some of the inspirational quotes just mean a lot to people. Um, I know that I've read some of these and I've just it just kicks me up the ass. So we have two sets. We have first class and then we have business class. This feels expensive, guys. It feels really weighted. It's really hard to say on camera and it's really hard to even, you know, tell you how it feels, but it feels weighted, it feels nice, it feels luxe, and the component is magnetic. Like just little things like that. I cannot wait to create some, what is it, B flips? <laughs> Get them B flips on me right now, babe. This is the first class set, and you get a lip liner and obviously the lipstick. Now, the lip liner is, guys, such a really beautiful quality. I did try it last night on Instagram, and as you can see, it rolls up. You don't have to sharpen it, and I'll do like a little swatch on my hand. They're really creamy, but they're not too creamy. They're a nice in-between. What I mean by that is, like, the peaches and cream lip liners are my favourite. And they can be a little bit too creamy. Um, but these, I find, are just really... It, they're a nice middle. So I feel like they're not going to bleed and they're not going to run. But that is that shade. Absolutely in love. And then this is the lipstick. I think this is called P. Louise Heights, I believe. They all have like names. So this is the one that I haven't used yet. But that's the colour of that one. And then I'll give that like a little swatch. So that's what that one looks like, guys. So then going into the business class um, lip kit, we have this pencil. This is the darkest pencil, and this is in, it's called Standard Sticks. So just winding that up, and then again, just putting that there. So as you can see, it's a deeper brown shade. I'm probably gonna get along with that one because I love wearing like a darker shade of lip liner and then again this is the lipstick this is in the shade take off this is the one that i swatched last night um, and then that's what that one looks like guys i know that they do come in a set and the set i believe is 16 pounds so guys the moment we've all been waiting for the palette so as you can tell it's got the same chunky funky packaging that POVs brings us every single time. A lot of people hate the packaging because they feel like it's too bulky, but this is an art piece, guys. Like, you've got palettes, you know, you've got palettes that you can just shove in your purse, but this is an art form. And basically, this is the outer packaging, guys. Like I said, it's got loads of detail on there. Not gonna read it, like I keep saying, 
but it's got 21 brand new jet setters, aka shades. It's a pressed pigment palette. One thing that I've never noticed in P. Louise eyeshadows, it's got herba oil and squalene in them, which is a nice touch because it's not, it's gonna hydrate your eyes. And I've never noticed that before. So as, you know, a makeup artist, we put a lot of shit on our eyes. And it's just really nice to see that they're actually caring for people's eyes and they're not gonna like dry them out and stuff. So never knew that, absolutely love it. So this is the Weldy Collection packaging, guys. As you can see, it's got sand in it and it's really sick, it's really unique. So I'm just, gonna, I'm just gonna compare it to the Secret Sinner palette. This is the Secret Sinner palette, guys, one of my favorites. And just comparing the sizes, it is a little bit bigger in, would you say width? Is it width? Yeah, they're kind of the same height, um, but it's just like this bit, it is a little bit bigger. So guys, this is the Weldy palette. Now, as you can see, it comes with a condom, which I will quickly remove. Now, I am gonna be honest, some of the sand has leaked out in man. So it, the sand definitely leaks a little bit. I'm not sure if it does it on every single palette, um, but it has leaked a little bit on my on like man. However, it's not affected any of the eyeshadows. So as you can see, it's not affected anything. Um, I have swatched a couple last night, so if a couple of them do do look busted, that is why. But guys, how insane are the colours in this palette? So guys, what are your favourite shades? Like, let me know in the comments below what your favourite shade is. The shades that I was immediately drawn to last night is Global, which is this green here. It's kind of like a... It's kind of like a emerald green. It really reminds me of Wizard of Oz. And I'm just gonna swatch it for you. So that is the shade Swatch. And then if I swatch it on here, you can just see how reflective it is. I absolutely love Peel Shimmers and the Sandwich Stages are literally one of my, like it's just the best formula for shimmers. I'm not sure if it is the same formula. I've kind of got the feeling that it's not the same for shimmer formula and um, just because these are really metallic in the Sandwich Stage palettes and I'm absolutely obsessed. These are more like a glittery, like a glittery base but it's kind of got like a pigmented base, but then it's got like glitter within it, if that makes sense. And whereas the sandwich stages, that they're just a little bit more metallic, if that makes sense. So I've got a feeling that they're not the same formula, um, but they are absolutely stunning. This shade here, Destination, is kind of like, it kind of pulls off bronzy gold. Um, but also it's got like a bit of like a green undertone to it. It's absolutely stunning. Like as you can see, that is reflecting beautifully. So I kind of feel like they are the same formula. Um, but yeah, like look at that, absolutely obsessed. So I'm not gonna swatch the entire palette just because I'm not really a swatcher. I like to focus everything on the eye. However, I will swatch a shade for you. I will swatch, let's let's swatch this blue. So I've got clean finger, I'm gonna take that. And then that's what that looks like. And then look at that pigment guy. Now, as you know, if this isn't totally pigmented for you, you can layer it over the bases. So obviously the bases are there to intensify, to make your life easier. I'm gonna show you what I mean on a later video, but basically if I wanted to make the pigments pop a lot more, I'd basically go in with my base and then put the shadow on top. That is really going to intensify your shadow game. So guys, that is the Weldy collection. I am going to make myself pretty now and we are going to be playing with the products and all that good stuff. I'm gonna try and not use any of the paints or the bases um, just because I, I really wanna focus on them at a later date. I really wanna focus solely on this collection. So I'm just going to be using what's in this collection and obviously my base to get my eyes looking good. So let's dive in to this collection and let's see what we can come up with.
All right, guys, so I'm taking my P. Louise base in room two. This is just a really nice generic eyeshadow, like, not eyeshadow base, I don't mean it like that. I mean, it's just a nice overall shade. Obviously, they do have different shades. Um, so if you do need help with finding your perfect P. Louise shade, the way that we like to do it is if you are a NC20 in MAC, you would be base shade 2. If you're an NC30, you be you can get base shade 2 or you can be a base shade 3 and so on. So that's kind of how we like to work out. If you do need any help, just drop me a little comment below. I'll try and help you out however best way I can. One thing I am still rooting for is a P. Louise mirror. Like I'm literally rooting so hard for that. But in the meantime, we're gonna use my Dawn Beauty. So I'm just gonna take this like little fluffy brush. It's just the easiest thing that I like to use. I'm just gonna start pat a pat patting that earl over my eye. Now, if you've never used the eye base before, what I like to do is I just like to buff, take a clean brush and just buff out any of the edges. Now, the reason I do this is because this base doesn't dry down all the way, but when it, it does dry down a little bit. So this just helps everything to blend in and just look really seamless. So I'm gonna take the 193 brush from the collection. I'm going into the shade The Alps. So just before I go in, I'm just gonna make sure that everything's out and then just start pressing that into my crease. And what I'm gonna start doing is I'm gonna start winging this out this way a little bit. You don't have to be too neat, don't, don't worry about blending. At this stage, we just wanna get the color sorted. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna start tickling the very edge of the shadow, just so it makes blending into the other shade a little bit easier. So far, this brush is really, really nice. It's doing a really nice job. And then I'm just gonna start bringing this out a little bit more like right, so so i'm gonna grab a two lost in my blend brush guys and i'm gonna be dipping into the shade explore and what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go 50 percent on my color so 50 percent on and 50 percent off what we mean by that is as you can see it's starting to blend so you, you want to be in between these two here. And then I'm just going to start bringing this lightly out. Now, when I go onto this bit, I don't like to take too much product. I just like to kind of let the blending do the wear. And then I'm going to take the 115 brush from the collection and I'm going to dip into the shade Luggage and I'm just going to start using that as our third blend. Now the reason why I'm using like a really fluffy brush is because it's just going to do the work for us. And again, just 50% on, 50% off. And you can see how it's just blending out really beautifully. Okay guys, so next is, this is where the Sandwich Stages palettes and collection was inspired by. This is what P. Louise calls the Sandwich Technique. And basically going to go back down and repeat the shades because as you can tell, they've all gone kind of like a little bit wishy-washy. So what we're going to do is we're going to intensify the shades back up by going down and repeating the process. Now, this is a personal, a personal choice. Some people like to start, you know, going to the middle and then going to the first shade. I kind of like mixing and matching, so sometimes like I'll go into my first blend and then I'll work my way back up, and I just like to mix and match just to, just so that, just to get the best blend for me personally. Um, but I just found that that's what works for me really. All right, guys. So to cut my crease, P. Louise loves using Vaseline. However. I've come across an even better trick. Vaseline is really good because what it does is it just cuts through the shadow really amazingly. 
but it's just a little bit too thick. So I've come across Duralarm by Inglot. Now, if you're not familiar what, with what this is, basically you can mix this in with your pigments um, to make like a, a cream eyeshadow, like a metallic eyeshadow, and you can use it for winged liner, you can use it on your lid. And I actually use this to cut my crease and it works absolutely amazingly. It kind of works a little bit better than Vaseline, if I do say so. So what I like to do is just take about three, two to three drops. And then I'm just gonna take this brush. This is the 7072 Water Tree, my base brushes. <laughs> Basically this comes in with the sandwich, the crisp packets. So these come in with the crisp finish paints. So what I'm gonna do is just take it in the Gerolan and you should see it goes really super thin. Like look, hi guys. So I know I look a little bit different right now, but it's because yesterday when I was filming somewhere along the line, I lost the footage to the next part, which is the most important part because it's the whole entire lid. So yeah, I'm here on day number bloody two to refilm that part. So here we go. I've just done my blends. Um, if they're not the same, it doesn't matter. It's not important because I've got all that footage anyway. So where it cut off, you saw me about to take the gel alarm and cut my crease. So that's basically what I'm going to do now. So that's how it goes. It goes really super thin and it just makes you cut the crease. It just cuts it better than Vaseline. I'd say Vaseline is a really good technique if you are like a beginner and um, just because it's thicker in consistency so it gives you a little bit more control. But because I know where to cut my actual crease, I like using the Duralar just because it cuts it a lot easier and a lot faster. And then I'm just gonna grab a makeup wipe. Um, and if you've got false nails, this is where your nails will come really in handy. But I'm just gonna start taken away that product and as you can see it just leaves you with a really amazing cut crease so it should look a little bit like that obviously obviously it might look a little bit different than it did yesterday however we're just i'm just showing you what i did basically so i'm just gonna take my devoted to my base brush by p louise and i'm gonna take a little bit of the base shade two and it'll go really, really thin. Like that is razor, razor sharp now. And I'm just gonna start cutting the crease again. Okay, so it should start to look something like that. Obviously you can go in and, you know, just tidy up around the edges. But like I said, I did this yesterday and I just wanna get it done and filmed for you. So I'm kind of rushing this a little bit today because I want to smash out another eye look. So I'm just going to dip into the shade Destination and I'm just taking that shade on a P. Louise brush that looks like this. I'm just going to start pressing it into the crease and then I'm just wiping off my brush because I'm just going to use the same brush and just continue to go ahead. So next up I'm going to dip into the shade Baggage which is this kind of like neonish lime green and again just start blending that in. Then I'm just dipping into the shade Vacay just to try and make it like ombre out. And then finally I'm going to dip into the shade Lounge and I'm going to start bringing that up into so now that I've got my shape, I'm just going to go in and intensify the shades and just make sure everything's really nice and blended in together. I'm going to take my gel on again and just taking the same P. Louise brush and again, just cut the crease. So you should be left with something that looks like this and then you should know what's next. Going back in and carving the crease again. Okay, so once you've done that, I've not been very neat with mine. I'm gonna take the shade Weldy, which is this gorgeous blue shade. I'm gonna press that right into the inner corner. Like, look at that big one, guys. And then I'm gonna go into the shade Euro. The good thing about this palette is that yeah. it's got the shades in to help you like ombre out which I absolutely love and appreciate as a makeup artist because sometimes it's really hard to find the shades 
you know, to work with each other, to ombre each other out. So I really love that they've helped us out in this way. And then I'm going into the shade Sky High, which is this absolutely beautiful deep blue. So I have made a mistake up here. So I'm just taking my, my base and I'm just erasing where I've gone wrong. So then next up, I'm grabbing the 143 brush from the collection and I'm taking I'm taking the shade First Class, which is this beautiful purple shade. And with this shade, I'm gonna start bringing it round here like that. And then I'm gonna take the shade San Francisco, which is the deepest blue in the palette. And I'm just gonna put that here, just so everything blends out seamlessly. So it should look, well, it shouldn't look anything like this because I've done it very, very, very messily, but it should look something like this. Um, as I said, the footage cut out, so I have rushed this eye look today. All right, guys, so I'm gonna take the P. Louise pin in Limelight, and I'm gonna put that on my water lamp. If you've never used these pins before, the app absolutely outstanding. I know I said that I wasn't going to use extra stuff but I just feel like this would make will make the eye look look amazing so I'm doing it. So these are amazing for your waterline and they're also amazing for cutting the crease, body painting, they're amazing for literally everything. Pins self set in 60 seconds guys so you don't need to go over them with shadow, you don't need to literally do anything, they're amazing. Alright guys, so that's Lime Light in my waterline, how sick is this starting to look now? So I could set that with a little bit of shadow but I'm just going to leave it like that, don't have to do anything else. I'm just going to take a bit of base and do my under eyes now. So if you've never been to the P. Louise Academy, there saying is basically what goes up must come down so i'm literally just going to use the first three shades that we used and to do this i'm going to be using the 143 brush so i'm just going to take a uh, peaches and cream pc 38 these are also amazing at getting under the under eye but i'm going to take a little bit of that metallic bit pin and i'm just going to put it right in my inner corner and like I said, it's kind of like a gold shade, but it's got like a green undertone. And I feel like it'll just tie in really beautiful with this eyeliner. And then I'm just gonna take a teeny bit of the metallic pin in the shade You're Glowing, which is just like a silver shade, but it literally, it packs a punch, this shade. It's my favorite shade out of all of the metallic bases. And I'm just gonna put that r literally right in the inner corner there. Like, look how blinding that is. Honestly, guys, if you get any of the metallic paints, make sure you pick up your glowing because it's literally my favourite one ever. All right, guys, so that is the eyes pretty much done. So I'm just going to go and do my base makeup and then I will be right back to show you the lip. All right, guys, so that is my base done. I know my brows look a little bit crazy, but that it looks good on Instagram, all right? That's all I can say. Um, but I'm going to go in with a little bit of highlighter before we move on to the lips. And the highlighter I'm taking is from the Love Tapes palette, and it's called Once Upon a Time. And then I'm just going to take a tiny brush. I'm just going to put a teeny bit on my brow bone. All right guys, so on to the lips. So I think I want to use the darkest shade, which is standards. And for the lipstick, I'm not sure. The lipsticks, I'm obsessed with how the feel in my hand, the feel so amazingly nice. For lipstick, I think I might use Heights. Yeah, I'm gonna go with Heights. So starting off with the lip liner, I'm just going to twist it up to about there and here we go. Like you'll start to see how creamy they are. The way I've been liking to do my lips recently is kind of making them into a point. Like that. Leave them alone, you bad luck to you. Okay, so that's the lip liner. Now I'm going to go in with the shade Heights, the lipstick. 
like, look at that. Look how creamy, pigmented, ugh. I'm just gonna take a brush like this. This is a Jessup brush. I'm just gonna lightly smudge it in. And that's the lipstick, guys. Stunning. Honestly, guys, the lipstick formula is so beautiful. It feels just really hydrating, weirdly. Like, it just feels really hydrating. I'm upset. So, guys, that brings us to the end of the P. Louise Weldy collection and the first video of my YouTube rebranding. Um, what do we think? What do we think? So I'm I'm obsessed with the palette, guys. The palette is so beautiful. The colours and the pigments are just absolutely stunning. And I hope you've enjoyed it. I, I want to know what you thought. Um, do you like the rebranding? Do you think you're gonna learn some things? Um, I've got a few videos planned. Um, so we're gonna be doing like contouring and concealing. We're going to be doing different bases, how you can mix and match the paints together to get different thought, like different finishes and colors. So yeah, I'm really excited to bring you some fresh new content and just show you the incredible brand that is P. Louise. So yeah guys, if there is anything that you have seen throughout this video and if you want anything, obviously you can check out my discount code, I'd really appreciate it. It makes me so happy when people use it because it's there to use and you save money. And I hope you've enjoyed this video, I've enjoyed making it actually. And yeah, um, let me know what your favourite products were down below. And yeah, I will see you in my next one. Make sure you follow me on Instagram as well.